Hello everyone, welcome back to Epifalab and this is a full stack variable BGS application development tutorial series and we are doing, uh, we're currently developing SEL in Laravel. So in our last video we see how we can control the access to different resources like this. So we have one problem which is we cannot access the dashboard even if we have the permission. So we still see these errors. So let's see and about what is the problem we are facing from here. Uh, from here. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So if I just simply return the permission, so I have returned the permission and you see the home page has a name of home. So that could be one problem, okay? So normally the home page has a uh, path simply just like uh, if I if we do the request path, return request path, it will be just a slash nothing here you see the slash so what we can do is we can simply make that things um, uh, a slash as well in our system so let's go ahead and update our permission uh, okay it's not refreshing okay assign rule so in this page we will change something so let's see what should we change for the home so here you see for home we have uh, home name is home okay research stream we can have home but let's keep it like this instead so this way we will be able to uh, check so let's do the mass update 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 and that's all okay and yep so if we do this update and now if we try to access the home page Okay, we still see these errors, so let's return again and check for our home page what we see. Uh, I see it's not updated yet. Uh, okay, so this can be because of uh, we assign and we override so this is can be because of uh, this assignment and the overriding so what we what we're going to do is that we are going to save it as uh, uh, as now so save it as now now so let's remove all of these permissions okay so we have removed all of this permission and let's go back to the assigned rule. Okay, we're getting some errors. Uh, okay, we don't have any permission, so it says plan. That makes sense. Invalid, okay, we are getting an error. So since we don't have any permission, supplied for for each, so yeah. Since we don't have any permission, we will see this error. Uh, for this user So this is a something a uh, some little problem we will be facing But for now We have to see If they have the permission, okay If they have permission uh, if they do not have the permission or nothing yet, so nothing has been set up yet so we can simply return the blade so the admin has to take the uh, permission himself so let's go ahead and assign everything we will not assign the text so let's okay assign everything except the tag okay that's cool an editor just assign tags and editor can update it but cannot delete it and moderator uh, cannot editor. editor moderator can read and cannot do any other things Okay, that's uh, uh, pretty much for now. Now let's try to access the home page. Uh, 
okay now we can access the home page simply because uh, our home page is uh, home page is having this slash so the path is getting matched so that is a good thing uh, you see we, we have a name here okay now let's make our uh, menu dynamic so that they do not see all of this menu if they do not have the read permissions okay so here uh, this admin has uh, do not have the read permission of the text so he do not should not be able to see this menu so how do we solve this okay uh, in first place so let's go ahead and solve this so in order to solve this we have to pass the permission in our menu page so where is our menu this is our menu so we have to build this menu completely dynamically okay so yeah and then you can um, do a lot of other things as well so i am not doing this right now but let's go ahead in our old template and pass some permission okay so we have passed the uh, user so similar with a uh, similar way we should be able to pass the user so let's pass the user like this rule and then permission okay so we have passed the permission uh, to the user so that should be good enough and we should be able to access it here uh, permission and if you come here and do a console.log this dot permission we should be able to see the items here okay we get the item right it's correct so we have all these items now uh, nicely uh, listed here so what we can do is we can comment all of this and we can uh, do a for loop so let's go ahead and make this style uh, one is dynamic so what we can do is um, menu item i in permission key i and we can do a condition b if so the b if uh, first b if will be we have to have the length so we have to have the length and next is uh, we will show if we have the read permission okay so we will see and and menu item dot read okay so if we have the read permission then and only then we will access this page okay so we should call uh, the menu item dot resource name okay so we should call it the resource name instead and then our link will also be dynamic now so we can call menu item dot name remember the name was the url we took so it should be in uh, name as well and then similar way you can pass the icon in your permission and the menu so it works in both ways you see wow that's awesome i really love my code so you see the text is gone now okay the text is gone so if you give the read access and if you do a re uh, reassign and if you do the refresh text comes back okay so that's awesome perfect we are successfully able to control the uh, uh, we can successfully can make the menu completely dynamic now in next video I hope that will be the last video of this uh, series if we don't have any other problems coming in and in that video, I will show you how we can control the resources. For example, if we have this edit permission or update or add permission. So I will make some logic here and we will try to use one piece of code that will be applied almost everywhere. So let's go ahead and try in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice time. Share this video if you like it. Thank you.